Can you recall? 1. What are the types of compounds? Answer. Organic and inorganic compounds are the two important types of compounds. 2. Objects in everyday use such as foodstuff, fibers, paper, medicines, wood, fuels are made up of various compounds. Which constituent elements are common in these compounds? Answer. Carbon is the common element found in all above mentioned objects of everyday use. 3. To which group in the periodic table does the element carbon belong? Write down the electronic configuration of carbon and deduce the valency of carbon. Answer. Carbon belongs to group 14 in the periodic table. Its atomic number is 6 and its electronic configuration is 2, 4. Hence, its valency is 4. In the previous standards, we have seen that organic and inorganic compounds are the two important types of compounds. Except materials fabricated from metal and glass or soil, several other materials from foodstuff to fuels are made up of organic compounds. The essential element in all the organic compounds is carbon. About 200 years back, it was believed that organic compounds are obtained directly or indirectly from the organisms. However, after synthesis of the organic compound urea from inorganic compounds in the laboratory, the organic compounds received a new identity as carbon compounds. All the compounds having carbon as a constituent element are called as organic compounds. The compounds carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, carbide salts, carbonate salts and bicarbonate salts are exception. They are inorganic compounds of carbon. Bonds in carbon compounds You have learned about the ionic compounds in the previous chapter. You have seen that ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points and they conduct electricity in the molten and dissolved state. You have also seen that these properties of ionic compounds are explained on the basis of the ionic bonds in them. The following table shows melting and boiling points of a few carbon compounds. Are these values higher or lower? As compared to the ionic compounds, generally the melting and boiling points of carbon compounds are found to be lower than 300 degrees Celsius. From this we understood that the intermolecular attractive forces are weak in carbon compounds. In the previous standard, on testing the electrical conductivity of carbon compounds, glucose and urea you have observed that they are not electrical conductors. Generally, most of the carbon compounds are found to be bad conductors of electricity. From it, we understand that structures of most of the carbon compounds lack ionic bonds. It means that the chemical bonds in carbon compounds do not produce ions. Covalent bond the chemical bond formed by sharing of two valence electrons between the two atoms is called covalent bond. A covalent bond is represented clearly by drawing an electron dot structure. In this method, a circle is drawn around the atomic symbol and each of the valence electrons is indicated by a dot or a cross. The covalent bond formed between the atoms is indicated by showing the circles around the atomic symbols crossing each other. The shared electrons are shown in the overlapping regions of the two circles by dot or cross. 
the electron dot structure is also drawn without showing the circle. One pair of shared electrons constitutes one covalent bond. A covalent bond is also represented by a small line joining the symbols of the two atoms. The line structure is also called structural formula. Let us first look at the hydrogen molecule, which is the simplest example of a molecule formed by covalent bonding. You have already learned that the atomic number of hydrogen being 1, its atom contains one electron in K shell. It requires one more electron to complete the K shell and attain the configuration of helium He. To meet this requirement, two hydrogen atoms share their electrons with each other to form H2 molecule. One covalent bond, that is a single bond, is formed between two hydrogen atoms by sharing of two electrons. The O2 molecule is formed by chemical combination of two oxygen atoms. An N2 molecule is formed by the chemical combination of two nitrogen atoms. On drawing the electron dot structures of these two molecules, it becomes clear that the two oxygen atoms in O2 molecule are joined with each other by two covalent bonds, that is, a double bond, while the two nitrogen atoms in the N2 molecule are joined with each other by three covalent bonds, that is, a triple bond. Now, let us consider carbon compound methane CH4. You have learnt about the occurrence, properties and use of methane molecule in the previous standard. Hope you remember. Just now, we saw that carbon atom forms four covalent bonds using the four valence electrons and attains the configuration of the nearby noble gas neon, Ne, and obtains stability. This figure shows the line structure and also the electron dot structure of methane. Do you know? To understand the structures of carbon compounds, various types of molecular models are used. The figure shows ball and stick model and space filling model of methane molecule. Characteristics of carbon A. Carbon has a unique ability to form strong covalent bonds with other carbon atoms. This results in formation of big molecules. This property of carbon is called catenation power. The carbon compounds contain open chains or closed chains of carbon atoms. An open chain can be a straight chain or a branched chain. A closed chain is a ring structure. The covalent bond between two carbon atoms is strong and therefore stable. Due to the strong and stable covalent bonds, carbon is bestowed with catenation power. Till now, the number of known carbon compounds is about 10 million. This number is larger than the total number of compounds formed by all the other elements. The range of molecular masses of carbon compounds is 10 raised to 1 to 10 raised to 12. Observe the table given next.